So this is your, your typical N95 mask. Jason Flegner with Bell Ambulance in Milwaukee says he's been keeping a close eye on the supply of medical face masks and gloves as coronavirus has caused worldwide demand to skyrocket. Walgreens is sold out of the standard surgical masks online. Bell paramedics typically use a higher grade N95 mask. What about medical supply companies that would sell these more mm -hmm. secure masks? Sure. Uh, we're not seeing quite the shortages yet. Uh, I was on some ordering websites this morning and they're, they're selling out quite a bit. Uh, we can still get them. Um, so they're not in quite as demand as the surgical ones are. Uh, but it's only a matter of time before these become uh, hard to get. Paramedics and other first responders need to be protected so they can help the rest of us in a medical emergency. As flu season also peaks, the Centers for Disease Control has urged healthy people to stop buying masks. If we're not able to protect our people properly, obviously it becomes an issue. A few Bell Ambulance workers are trained and equipped for the highest level of protection against the virus. These are photos of Bell's Tier 1 infectious disease team. Their masks, gloves and suits provide the highest level of protection. So we've got about 13 people who are trained um, to don and off specialized equipment for very, very infectious uh, diseases, things like Ebola. It's the more common protective equipment that's becoming more difficult to buy. In Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. Foxconn officials announced they've switched part of their iPhone manufacturing in China to make surgical face masks instead. They hope to produce some 2 million masks per day by the end of this month.